Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to New Lands. Just trying to make sure I get it into the bed of the truck and there we go. That was odd. I did get in there, right? Yep. Ooh, I was just on the edge. So I'm using the uh, Reform Multi T8X because, well, why not? I made a little bit of a mess when we were doing a silage contract and had a bale come apart on me after it got switch. It, uh. Interesting. I think my. My headset is doing weird things. Like it's trying to say that I'm adjusting the volume when I'm not. Come on. So I've already taken one load to sell this off. We've completed our contracts. I uh, don't know if I've actually gotten uh, the completion on them as far as getting the money from them, but it wouldn't be right if I didn't at least get this sold off before doing that. But I'm using the reform truck because I could use the bigger trailer that we got, but I just think it'd be a little overkill. Partially why I'm using this little tractor as well. Oop. Gotta find that happy medium where I, you don't get the tires off the ground. I don't have the truck parked exactly in the right spot. I did last time. Where I could just swing around and just unload right into it, but not this time. That was a quick uh, fill up. Hmm. Anyway, I hope everyone's having a fantastic week. No idea when I'm going to have this coming out. Because it's part of my lineup of videos I'm doing while I'm on vacation. So I'm going to do things a little differently than I have in the past. With my videos, I'm gonna get them onto YouTube after editing them. However, I'm going to hold them private until I'm ready to release. It may, ooh, <laughs> it may be a, an inter interesting time frame, but oh, that's why. Like I've been able to put that down in the past, but we still have apparently our sheriffs. Uh, Pull it on. I keep forgetting I ha have that, and that I should probably take it off when I'm not actually patrolling. But it's kind of getting the swing of things and just kind of keep get moving. So this may be our last dump. This thing takes about four and a half, I think, dumps. Yep, that looks about right. Okay, I was gonna say, I hope that's a auto save kicking in. And you know, doing it this this way makes me kind of want to get a skid steer as well. Something that's a little bit more dedicated for doing this kind of work, as well as anything with forks. So. 
This thing is just neat. If I had the kind of work where I needed something like this, I would definitely get one of these. We've kind of smoothed this out a little bit, made it a little bit easier to drive in and out. It also doesn't look near as awkward. And my headset is still trying to tell me that it, I'm adjusting the volume. I may need to get a new headset soon, but I like this one because it gives me, you know, surround sound in, with the headset. Which is great if you're doing like shoot 'em up games or just watching movies and don't need to bug the roommate late at night type of deal. Or a housemate, I guess I should say. But we're just bringing it up here and uh, getting this drop stuff dropped off, so. Like I said, this thing is great at this kind of work. And taking things to and from. Oh, what do they got going over here? That's all new. They starting they started a recycling center it looks like. Well, he's trash. Yeah, it looks like it's all for bottles. All kinds of recyclables. Interesting. There's like some delivery vans here for... Or shipping out these plants or something? I don't know. Yeah, I hear you, little sheep. Come over and say hi. Ah, oh, they're so adorable. I think we might get into sheep on this map at some point. But we got more work to do. I still need to look into getting a new, uh, well, something like that. Maybe not quite that big, but something like that where we can store more of our equipment under a roof. Even if it is still exposed to the elements. I still want it under a roof. So that way it's not getting direct, directly affected by, you know, rain or, you know, sitting in the sun. Even on some of the equipment that doesn't have any kind of uh, real mechanical things going on, like a plow, you know, if it has hydraulics, those hoses can wear quickly over time. So, unfortunately, there is that. Oh yeah, that's a lot smoother. I like that. So yeah, we don't really don't have too much going on. It is only October 2nd in year one, so. Let's see here, if it wants to go into gear. How about we park like that, see how that goes. I know with the way I'm currently sitting, it's not gonna work very well. And this is one bale, and I, that's the second trip that I've taken, so. No, I want you to go forward, not backward. Some of these transmissions are getting so temperamental lately. I don't need to keep hitting that same spot on the poor truck. Oh 
Oh yeah, I think that's gonna work out a lot better. Better planning. <laughs> So I was kind of looking at uh, possibly doing things with cattle or sheep, looking at different pens. Nothing really seemed to line up for with kind of what I'm wanting for the moment. So I think that's something we're just going to have to hold off on, at least for the time being, until I, you know, get things a little bit better along the way. Uh, so instead I invested some of our, well, quite a bit of our money because we were close to 300000 at one point. And we're sitting at almost 50 grand. I mean, grand, that's not exactly chump change by any means, but as we hit the same spot in the dang truck. But what I did invest in is um, stuff to help us get our money back within reason. What I, what I mean by that is solar panels. So, zoom out as far as we can. So we have a solar panel whoop, over there on the beehives, on the chicken coop, and on our shed here. We have solar panels as well as on that south side of that shed over there. And there are a couple windmills that I, we purchased and we kind of put around the farm as well all kind of to help offset any electrical needs that we are going to need especially as we grow uh, not to mention any excess gets sold back to our lovely power equipment company which we all know we all love our personal power and equipment companies in the real world because they all do such a great job <laughs> I'm sorry I can't say that without laughing Oh, I thought I had a full bucket. <laughs> uh, you guys are probably going, what are you doing? You didn't even fill it up, did you? <laughs> and you're right, I didn't. I'm trying not to back into my house right now either. So I'm looking at a uh, open shed for the most part. And uh, also looking at possibly a garage that we can put right here next to the house. Is that all of it? Or am I just not at the right angle? Definitely not the right angle. Still missing some. Wow. I'm horrible at this, guys. And is this the last bit of it? Sure looks like it. Here's the kicker. Will us all go in? See, I like doing small things like this, especially with his joystick. Yes, we got it all in. If it was a full bucket, we would not have been able to do that. Let's go get this parked up. I do want to get this cleaned off before winter, so we're just going to park it here. Yeah, I know it doesn't look like 
it's been gotten too dirty, but considering that is silage that we were just messing around in, we actually did a decent job getting it off the uh, grass. Yeah, this little truck is awesome. I uh, got three point attachment on the front. Um, currently took it off, but I do have a, a three point attachment for the rear that I can throw on if needed. I'm, mm, I need to see, I'm not sure what kind of winners we're gonna have here, but I am probably going to reattach that three point on the back and get this set up for winter use. Um, I'm not 100% certain what we're gonna be running as far as winter goes. It, I'm probably gonna take a closer look at what I'm wanting to do for that before I even touch that three point again. Because if I'm uh, if I'm gonna put it on and not use it, I'm gonna be mad at myself. I took it off because I wasn't using it and I don't want it to get damaged. It does kind of stick out the back a little bit. So, I do have it stored away for the, at the moment. We're gonna pull in here, get the unloaded as well. This should help our income a little bit more. Which that is a $590 income just from that load. That wasn't 100% full, but I'll take it. Let me take a look at these. All right, so we got $9,000, almost 10,000, almost 8,000. So we're not looking too bad. It looks like there's a few more bailing uh, contracts out there. Seems like that's the majority of it, aside from this one for sewing. Oh, I see. I'm like, what the heck is going on there? Two different ones, but... And they just want it seated with grass. I'm not going to deal with that right now. I've been trying to do a lot of contracts on all my maps off camera, if I can help it. Yeah, kind of like the one I did earlier, uh, or recently. Uh, with the bailing, I just kind of felt like I wanted to do something on that map, so bailing was what was going on. Kind of like with this map, we're kind of in a lull right now as far as all of our different chores. Our chickens are completely 100% fed while well, they're full of feed right now. I have a trailer over there full of chicken feed, so it's easy to hook up and get them fed if needed but I don't think that's gonna be necessary anytime soon uh, we don't have any other animals we have do have bees but that's kind of takes care of itself our dog gets fed when uh, whenever they're hungry so like I said I think the next step it is October the next step is basically try to uh, get the farm in order hopefully get some shelter for some of our equipment so that way we can uh, be ready for whenever the snow does come because I have no idea how much snow we're gonna get we have a lot of equipment just kind of sitting out and about so there's our trailer full of uh, our chicken seed chicken feed well, I guess you could call it seed but it doesn't make the chickens it just feeds them Oh, look how they just run up to you. They're so cute. It's a shame you can't actually pick them up. Yeah, they all seem to be doing quite well. Try not to step on them as I go around. Looks like some are nesting. We have... Wait, we have eggs? I thought these were all babies. I see no adults in here. 
Hold up. Unless that's just the way... Yeah, these are all... <laughs> these are all chicks. I have... Zero males, apparently. <laughs> I think what we'll end up doing is this veterinary reproduction when they're old enough. Don't need a uh, rooster or two in here doing its thing when it really shouldn't be. We can have better control over them. Plus, you know, the eggs that we get, we'll uh, deal with it from there. Don't know why I went to that screen. Uh, hey, what does this button do? Ooh, lights. Yeah, I thought the eggs were supposed to spawn out here, but there's also that spot in there, so I'm not sure. Unless it's something that we're going to have to muck out, like, you know, manure. That they don't really produce when they're this young. See, we have a wheelbarrow over here. Some other tools and whatnot. So, as they get older, I guess we'll see. But I do like this chicken uh, barn. This chicken coop. What's the max on it? Um, doesn't specify. Uh oh, three hundred sixty is the max on that. So that's a lot of chicks to be in there. And we're just gonna uh, kind of let them be. Feed them and water them as they need. Speaking of dirty, this thing needs good cleaning too. Hmm, I guess with this tractor set up, it doesn't quite use all of them. But I wouldn't have hung them there. That's a dangerous spot to be hanging them when they're when it's up and running full bore. Wow. Okay. So yeah, we have a few pieces of equipment that I know we need to... We're going to need to... Well, actually, we just have... Oh, two of them. These guys. Um, I was just testing a few things, so... I do like this, and now that I have a better idea of how to use it when dealing with uh, silage bales, I might keep this one. This one... I don't know. I may keep this one, too. Just because it's kind of nice to be able to deal with that kind of stuff here at the farm the other one well and I also have this thing back here now granted if I had dealt with the bales like I should have and let them turn to silage before trying to sell them that contract would have been a little bit better <laughs> would have been done before we recorded this video I'll put it that way <laughs> but yeah so we kind of made it work out in our favor and we are kind of turning into a uh, specialist for dealing with uh, grass and hay and silage. So I think we might take advantage of that. It's possible we may get into cattle on this farm because of that instead of pigs. But again, I am kind of weighing my options, as it were. And uh, we'll kind of see how it goes from there. What? I did not hit the button to pick you up. What the hell? Anyway, it's going to be a short video. I do know that for a fact. I'm just trying to get things done. It is... This will... If you already don't know. Um, this will be coming out while I'm on vacation. So... I will see your guys' comments if you make any. Uh, and I will respond as best as I can. If it's worthy of a response and not some of the gibberish I've seen and removed. Um, those spam bot things are ridiculous. Anyway, I think we'll just call the video there, guys. So as always, if you happen to like what you see or catch yourself watching more than one of my videos, please do us both a favor and hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. Man, this thing goes far. That bell will let you be notified of every single video I post and not just select a few here and there. Oh, there it goes. So guys, if you made it this far in the video, I do want to say thank you and I greatly appreciate each and every single one of you and I hope you all have a fantastic week.
with all that being said, we'll catch you in the next episode. Take care. Peace. Peace.